Good afternoon or morning, evening on this Friday. Okay, this looks good. It's a good match. It's a good match. I like the way it looks. Schluter, why are you having a mask on in the car? Quite simply, because I can. <laughs> this is going to just be real. I got my reasons. Uh, but I also uh, just felt like doing it. You know, I like the connections of this. I got some stuff I need to take care of as well. So I'm focused on all of that as well. So, But anyways, I wanted to make this video on this Friday again. Um, Sunday. With Fan of Atlanta 365, I'm going to get a hold of him this weekend. Going to try to do a uh, pilot show of conversations with the champ. Okay, again, I had some, some debates in my head on what I was going to call the show. Again, I'll, do, I'll talk about the show specifically on Saturday night. I'll either do a live stream about it and get some people in there who are interested or do a premiere or something like that it's late Saturday night. If I don't have any plans, I don't plan on it at the moment. And then I'll let everybody know what the premise completely is going to be about the show. All right. But I want to address this first. I have a couple of topics I want to talk about. First, the Atlanta Hawks, a nice win over the uh, previously 41 and nine Phoenix Suns. No asterisk here, y'all. Everybody played for the Hawks. Everybody played for the Suns. Trey Young went off. It was great. Um, I'm humble, though. You know, granted, after the uh, World Series uh, and the National Championship this past year, my confidence in my teams are a lot better because results are starting to show. That's all I ever asked was results needed to show for the efforts. But my confidence in the Hawks got derailed. Um, my expectations, and I don't hide it, I said it before, my expectations during the offseason and coming in was winning an NBA championship. Nothing less, because after going to the Eastern Conference Finals, that's what it's about, winning championships. You know, you cannot regress. And for some reason, I understand about the COVID early in the year, but the Hawks had their players and they, they were still losing games. And so my confidence was shot. You know, the Hawks have to reprove it to me. I know what they're capable of doing and everything. I do know that. And during this eight of nine uh, winning streak, uh, the Hawks have beaten a lot of good teams. Um and the one they lost was the other night to the Raptors, 106-100 in Atlanta when Trey Young did not play. Now, that doesn't guarantee anything because the Hawks have lost with Trey Young, but I, I, I like our chances. And we got Toronto tonight. Trey Young's playing. Everybody's playing except Lou Williams. So I like our chances tonight. Do I? Am I going to guarantee anything? No, I never guarantee anything. Um, but I like our chances. Toronto Raptors are a good team this year. They usually give us problems. And it's up there now. I think we're playing in Toronto. I don't know how. I don't know if, if it's actually going to be in, in Toronto because I know Canada has still has their COVID issues and all that. But you know, it's a game that I want because of what happened uh, a couple of days ago and everything. But but we'll see what happens. You know, Toronto's a good team. Can't overlook them or nothing like that. Um, and speaking of championships. Uh, today, you know, every now and then I'll just kind of just reminisce and, and I was looking at some old clips and then I looked at my stream with the when the Braves won the World Series and it made me think of the Braves again and Georgia National Championship. And I just want to talk about that a little bit. At February 13th is the last day that I'll have sports champion in ATL. It's going to go back to sports live in the ATL. OK, it's going to go back to that. Um and I'm going to really stop talking about it because, like I said, I don't want to beat a dead horse. But I want to enjoy this. I want to enjoy the moment of being not only a one-time champion, but a double two-time champion. Because I suffered. I have suffered. I've suffered not only with my Atlanta teams and Georgia teams, but with Calgary as well. You know, I'm repping the Flames um, because hockey season is, is well underway. And Calgary's playing well. We're 20... 2-13 and 13 or something like that. We've had some nice wins uh, uh, going into the uh, All-Star break. Uh, we should make the playoffs again, and we can put a run together. We might win the division. You know, all I want is championships. Calgary hasn't won a Stanley Cup since 89. We lost one in 2004 in seven games to Tampa Bay, the Lightning. Uh, we've had some good teams since then that have been underachieving and let me down. But when I say that, the, that fortunes are turning for my teams, it's factual. OK, the Falcons have, first of all, Georgia's already won a national championship. The Braves 
won a World Series, and both teams can still win again this in their upcoming years. The Hawks went to the Eastern Conference Finals, and hopefully they're getting their stuff turned around. They're capable of winning. Because uh, you get in the playoffs, you never know. We were two wins away from the NBA Finals last year. Uh, last year was last year, but, you know, if you have a good team, it, it's going to show. And the trade deadline is coming up on the 10th. I expect the Hawks to do something. Um, Calgary's playing really well. Okay, so they have an opportunity for me. And the Falcons, you know, with the with, the, with Tom Brady retiring and Drew Brees gone and Sean Payton, we all know Panthers aren't going to get a good quarterback of any substance. The Saints aren't going to get a good quarterback with any substance. For them, getting Jameis Winston back will be key. Jameis Winston played well, considering he got hurt. You know, he had a he he proved me he was proving me wrong. So they would be smart to hopefully have him back healthy. It wouldn't surprise me to see Winston go to Tampa Bay though. <laughs> and we all know Tampa Bay is not going to get Rodgers. They're not going to get Russell Wilson. Nothing like that. Okay, they're going to be dealing with Blaine Gabbert and talking about Kyle Trask. Really. So the reality is going to hit them hard. And the reason why Tampa Bay fans and the bandwagon fans are so talkative, because they know what's coming. They're trying to soak this up because it was pure luck that Tom Brady and his and all everybody else came to uh, his their, their franchise. And, and a two-year reprieve of suck. So it's going to be great to see them fall apart again and everything. But when I was talking about championships and I was reminiscing about the – Watching my celebration with the Braves right here in Georgia winning championships in 2021. It just, it, it brought more joy to me. And with the Super Bowl coming up for Dashy, and I really hope that he wins it because I know, Dashy, you probably feel like I felt. Like I felt in the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Unfortunately, the Hawks came up two games short of the NBA Finals. But what a run that was. What, what? How can I say, God, plant, these masks suck, man. Keep falling off all over the place, right? Um, came this close. And that was my expectations because I know the feeling coming in. Uh, the Braves in the World Series. The ride that it was going into the World Series and winning was euphoria, as you could tell from my reaction. The buildup was tense. Georgia, same thing. So I know how you're feeling, Dashy. I, I've been there many times. I've seen the Falcons at two Super Bowls and one major letdown. So I know. And you definitely deserve it. That's why I told you. That's why I've taken care of you because you've done a lot for me. And Dashie, I'm going to say it again. If your Cincinnati Bengals win the Super Bowl, I will buy you a Super Bowl Bengals championship hat. And that will be $30 well spent because you deserve it. You bust your butt on your channel. You are very entertaining on your channel. You are passionate and loyal. And you symbolize what hard work on a channel, loyalty is on a channel, and I got nothing but respect. And you got the backing by most people on here on YouTube. They want to see you win. You've suffered with the Reds, with Ohio State, with Anaheim, and the Bengals. And now you and Jazzy TV are this close. This close. And I'm hoping that you get it. So I'm pulling for you. So, but I understand what it feels like. These are moments that don't come often. And that's why I'm enjoying it. That's why I have the channel name changed to Sports Champion and ATL, which will end on Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday will be the last day, and I will be streaming the Super Bowl, uh, just for the record. Um, and then I think my schedule is going to change after that to where I'll be off on I'll be work off on Saturdays, working on Sundays. But when the football season comes, I'm gonna let them know ahead of time that uh, when football season comes up in September, I gotta have Sundays off. I actually requested to maintain my Sundays off. Okay, I've I've had this I've had this schedule for years, you know, and, and I, I don't want it to change now. But you know, life does call, and I can work around things. Um, but yeah, being a double champion feels amazing. There are teams, there are fan bases out there who haven't even seen a championship, whether it be just college football or just baseball or even some NFL. Because haters are going to hate. You have some, a lot of y'all that I know on YouTube have no idea what winning a title feels like. Okay? And it sucks for y'all that the laughing at me is slowly going away. The only thing that you guys can talk about is my channel. Or subscribers or donations or whatever. When you don't understand, my channel is going good. And before you want to come on here and derail me and, 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 and talk like uh, and say things, make sure you actually know. 
Okay, make sure you actually know what's actually going on on my channel before you choose to open your mouth. But I'm a champion. I love it. I love being a champion. The feeling of going into a season trying to defend the titles are great. And the feeling of the possibilities moving forward are great because all of my teams have an opportunity to do something. Even the Falcons, let's be real. They can fix their defense. Great. I'm, I'm going to be talking a lot about that on my shows this offseason about the Falcons. I'm going to try to do more breakdowns and get involved with more breakdown people. That's not what I like to do. But the more and more as, as I've gotten older and the more rants that I've done, I've broken things down more. And I figured I would go ahead and put it um, on video. So I hope that uh, everybody has a great weekend. Uh, the Pro Bowls this weekend. I'll probably have the game on because it is football. And again, I'm looking at doing a pilot for my show, Conversations with the Champ. On Sunday, it's not guaranteed. I will finalize and, and I'll let Fan of Atlanta 365 know. Forever Falcon, forever fan. I forgot his name or anybody. If I don't do it uh, this Sunday, I will do it. Um, actually, I will do it uh, the day of the Super Bowl. I will do it before the game or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to get it. I need to get it situated. It's probably best that I do it this Sunday to get the first episode out of the way. So. I'll be taking phone calls. I will have the automated app, phone app to where you guys can call. I will monitor it. I've done it before. And uh, just continue to grow the channel, man. It's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work. It's been a grind, but it's been a fun one. You know, I'm not a beggar. Um, I know where my channel's at. I don't believe in beg. I, see, I believe if, if you're begging, if you're, excuse me, bragging about one, about, your channel being great over over someone else's that's your insecurities it doesn't that doesn't bother me what what concerns me is my channel my loyal fans on my channel and growing my channel because i don't forget where i started that's one thing about me i never forget where i started some of y'all forgot and some of y'all also are blinded and don't uh actually pay attention to what's on my channel you just run your mouth but that's all that's all you're right and everything like that so Anyway, sports champion in ATL. Everybody uh, have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And stay tuned to the community post. I did want to mention this. I did post this on the community post. It is back. YouTube has finally smartened up. They have gone back to where if you click a name in the chat on the right side, you can go to that person's channel and, and get, first of all, find their channel. Make sure they're legit and subscribe to them. I know 8 Camel Toes and myself have been very adamant about why they took it off because it makes it, it made it a lot harder to find a channel. So go to your chats, click it, and you can see that now you can verify a channel and actually go to their channel uh, while you're doing your live streams. You can go back into the past. So that's great. Kudos to you, YouTube. Sports champion in ATL. And I'll see you in the next one.